Good evening. Welcome to OIC, another midweek empowerment service. We're going to go ahead and open up in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you and we praise you for another opportunity to gather together, another opportunity to come before the throne of grace, just recognizing you for your grace, your mercy, just for being who and all that you are in our lives. Amen. Thank you, God, for keeping us throughout the day and throughout the week thus far to allow us to make it to this point. So, God, I thank you for what you're going to do in this Bible study tonight, how you are going to just enlighten us and that lives are going to be changed, souls are going to be saved, and that you're going to empower and equip the man of God with all that he needs to deliver a right now word. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen, amen. and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and put those hands yeah. together. Amen. Well, as I said, welcome to another midweek empowerment service. We're going to go ahead and do uh, the canopy of God's uh, protection, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. He shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Amen. God. Praise God. We are grateful for the canopy of God's protection over our lives. So a few announcements before we get into Bible study. The first is we're going to be entering our um, fast period from January 8th through the 28th, the 21-day Daniel fast. And we're going to be studying um, the book called Killing Kryptonite. And it's available um, on Amazon and at local bookstores. So if you haven't got your copy and you're trying to participate, you need to go and make sure you get that. January 8th is our start date. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. And we want to thank you for joining us tonight on Facebook. Um, and only in January, this whole month, we're going to be online only. So take a minute right now to share this stream. You need to show me. I'll show you how to do it. So you need to show me. I'll show you. Okay, so you just click share right there in the bottom. Okay, you do that. And that's how you share the live stream because we are called to be disciples. And if we're not spreading the good news, we're not doing our job, right? Amen. So amen. Everyone do your part. Online for Bible study only. Online for Bible on study Sunday. only. Wednesdays. On Sundays, we're back in the house. Yeah, Amen. Amen. So, like a Pastor Siobhan over there telling me, and then I hear Pastor Siobhan going, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so now it's offering time. Woo Hallelujah. So, um, usually we have an offering testimony, but since it's Wednesday night, we're going to save those for Sunday. And I know, I look forward to that part of the service. I don't know about y'all. Um, not only do I always say that it's an extension of worship, but when we testify of the goodness of God, that encourages not just you, but it encourages your brothers and your sisters to keep on going, to stay in the fight, to continue to give to our God what is right and not what's left. Because we know that he can take our little tiny bit that we give to him and just increase it exponentially. 
and even more so than we can even think about doing ourselves because we know when we do it ourselves it's just mm. a hot mess amen amen so our ways to give are you could text the word give to 803-373-1878 or you can use zale with our email address oicmpastor at gmail.com or you can mail it to P.O. Box 1291, Elgin, South Carolina, 29045. Amen. So let's go ahead and pray over our offering. Father God, we thank you and we praise you for another opportunity to give, another opportunity to sow into your kingdom. Lord, we want to thank you for being our ultimate resource, our provider, our Jehovah Jireh. God, we know that anything that we have is a result of our relationship with you God so we say thank you and we are privileged tonight to sow into overcomers in Christ ministries God I pray that you would bless the seeds that we are sowing and Lord I know that your name is going to be glorified and that the seeds that we sow are going to be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom for how that you are preparing a building for us you are preparing yes, uh, just the workers to come in just everything that we need so God, I thank you and I praise you for this and all things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 So at this time, we're going to bring forth our holy man of God. If you would type in the comments, bring the word, Pastor John. Bring the word, Pastor John. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. What a beautiful day God has given us. Unto us, amen, another mm -hmm. day to worship and to magnify his holy and righteous name. Praise God. Amen. Another Wednesday night Bible study. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the new year mm -hmm. of 2023. Mm -hmm. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. He allowed us amen to make it through 2022 how many can testify uh it was some trials some tests some tribulations some ups and down but god but god hallelujah amen we made it hallelujah and it's no goodness of our own that's the key it's all about him he is the one that saw fit to bring us through and to bring us to such a time as this amen, amen. truly we honor all of you who are watching and logged on uh, uh on our live stream tonight amen god is so good I just pray that you had a blessed day today, amen, in spite of, you may have some challenges, amen, I know our state, uh, parts of our counties uh, across South Carolina was under a tornado uh, watch, mm -hmm. amen, and we still nothing broken, nothing missing, and nothing Ooh, lacking, yeah. hallelujah, Ooh, that's a testimony in and of itself, Whenever God delivers, God brings us through something. We owe God the highest praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So I pray that you're excited. You have your Bible, your pens, paper, and ready. Hallelujah. We haven't had a Bible study review in some time. Yeah. And so since you already know that, tonight's <laughs> your night. Oh, no. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, one book I read says, be ye also ready. <laughs> one book. One, uh, it's one of the books that says, be ye also ready. Amen. And so I pray that you're ready tonight. Uh -huh. Be the first one to get your answer in. Amen. We honor Pastor Pat in her absence. We love Amen. you, Pastor Pat. We're praying. Amen. Amen. We see God moving in you and for you. Come Amen. on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Lord. And so uh, let's just pray. Father, we give you glory and honor. We thank you, God, for your power, your anointing, your grace, your power operating in our lives every day, God. And God, as a body of believers, God, we just lift our hands. We lift our voices up to you and say, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. God, we ask you to show up and to show out tonight like only you can, oh God. Open the eyes of our understanding. 
Oh God, we have prepared hearts. We are prepared listeners, oh God. We need a word from on high. And God, I thank you as God, as we turn our focus on you and your word, God, that your word will come alive. Your word will begin to speak to our very heart. And God, I thank you for the divine impartation and divine revelation tonight. And God, we be so careful to give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. All right. Well, let's just get right in to our Bible study review. Amen. I know you're ready. Our first question. We don't have many, so uh, everyone counts. Amen. Everybody's <laughs> starting off with 100. Hey. <laughs> amen. One of the main areas, we mentioned this in Sunday's message, uh, where is one of the main areas the devil loves to attack the believer? The believer, Amen. We mentioned this in Sunday's message. What area does he like to attack the believer? Amen. Uh, yes, I, I know you remember uh, that from Sunday's message. I don't have my music, but amen. We're going to give you a few seconds. There it is. Praise the Lord. Where is one of the main areas that the enemy, the devil, loves to attack the believer? All right, we got any answers, Dale? Yes, I win. I wrote the mind. Because you're tweaking it in, so this is Sister Higgins and Christian. Amen. Okay, everybody. <laughs> all right, all of you, if you wrote our mind, you are at the top of the class. Ooh. Amen. The devil loves to attack our mind. Praise mm -hmm. God. All right, let's keep going. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. What was the first point uh, in Sunday's message? Look over your notes real quick. What was Sunday's first point in the message? Amen. Amen. It's saying that we have to do something. Amen. It's an action we must take. Close the door. Amen. I know you got it in your notes. You kept playing the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so we're going to keep moving. All right. Anybody have the answer? Yes, Sheila. Close the door <laughs> to Satan's access, access in your life. Amen. Close the door to Satan's access in your life. You got to shut him out, shut him off, and shut him down. Ooh. Can I get one witness? Witness. Amen. This year, we're going to look for the uh, access points in our life. Mm -hmm. How is he creeping in? Is it through my phone, my my TV, the people I let in? Oh, we're going to find that place. Mm -hmm. Doing this fast, God's going to reveal that point of access, and we're going to shut him down. We're not even going to second guess it. All right. All right. I'm getting happy already. <laughs> All right, question number three. What was the title of Sunday's message? Woo, you got to get this one. Amen. What was the title of Sunday's message? We're just doing a review, a quick review, amen, just to get in the Word and getting your, your mind ready for Bible study. What was the title of Sunday's message? I know you write it. I can hear it. I can feel it. You got any <laughs> answers? Not yet. All right. Shayla isn't giving people a fair chance. I uh, am. <laughs> she's typing. All right. The title of Sunday's message. What do we have? Teach me your way, oh Lord. Chevelle got it. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Teach me your way, oh Lord. Hallelujah. That's my cry for 2023. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Teach me your way. I don't want to know uh, what everybody else is doing. I want to know what God is doing. God is moving. Amen. Amen. In me and for me. All right, so, all right, find the scripture. This is, uh, I'm talking to Bible scholars now. Uh -oh. Find the scripture that says, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Amen. Resist <laughs> the devil. 
now and he will flee from you. We mentioned that Sunday mm -hmm. in the message. Amen. Where is that scripture? Submit yourselves to God, therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. It's in the Bible. Come on. It's in the New Testament. I'm helping you now. Mm -hmm. All right. We have any answers? That might be a little rough for some of you. Siobhan said James 4. James, the fourth yes. chapter, Seven. verse 7. Amen. We hey, got, look, some. got it. Amen. Oh. James 4 and 7. Here's the last and final question. Amen. You get this one, you move to the head of the class. Head of the class. <laughs> Amen. What was the main scripture in Sunday's message? What was the opening scripture for Sunday's message? Amen. You were there. Uh -huh. <laughs> you heard. Amen. What was the main scripture in Sunday's message. I know it was in the Passion Translation. <laughs> hey, Amen. And always. you'll get an extra bonus if you put what translation we used. I already said that. <laughs> Definitely Psalms 86. All right, we got to move. Time is going. Amen. So, what was the main scripture in Sunday's message? Teach me your way, ways, O oh Lord. What scripture did we use? Psalm 86 and 11. Psalms 86 and 11, the Passion Translation. Amen. I pray that you got them all right. Amen. We, we thank God for Bible scholars. Amen. <laughs> Teach me your way, Oh God, our lesson tonight again is coming from Psalm 86 and 11, the same uh, translation, the Passion Translation, where it says, teach me more about you, how you work and how you move so I can walk onward in your truth until everything within me brings honor to your name, my Lord. Hallelujah. Another scripture we're going to be sharing with you tonight is St. John, uh, the 16th chapter. We're going to read from the 12th through verse 15 out of the King James uh, Version. Amen. It says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak and will show you things to come. Not only that, but he shall glorify me, for he shall receive a mind and show it unto you. All these are things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take a mine and shall show it unto you. God bless the hearers and doers of his word. Amen. Tonight, just want to take a minute to uh, discuss with you and share with you on, I will walk in his truth. Can you type that in? Amen. I will walk in his truth true. Amen. We share the same passage of scripture Sunday of David's prayer to God. Amen. And it says, bow down thy ear, O Lord. Hear me for I am poor and needy. Amen. And he just begins to uh, state what he, where he is and who God is to him in his prayer. Amen. And he begins to say, look, listen, I'm at a point right now uh, I, I've been tested. I've been tried. I got some issues. I got some circumstances in my life. And then sometimes, I don't know about you, but when trouble comes, when calamities, when issues and problems come, have you ever felt sometimes, now let's be honest, that your faith and belief was all over the place? Mm -hmm. I, I know you holy. I, I know you go <laughs> to a Pentecostal 
across the church, but can we tell the truth that sometimes we can get so caught up in, in our emotions, our feelings, and different things get involved, and sometimes it seems like our faith, our belief, our trust is all over the place, especially when difficult times come. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Uh, and, and listen, the reason I said that because in verse 7, Psalm 86 and 7, this is what King David says. He says, in the day of my trouble, you see what I just said? Mm. In the day of difficult, he says, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, we need to adopt that scripture every time we get blindsided by the enemy. Psalm 86 and 7, he says, For in the day of my trouble, mm -hmm. my God, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. And I know there's another translation that probably don't have the these and the thou in it. But amen. The gist of it is that when I'm in a fix, when I'm in a situation, I'm going to fix my mind and my heart to call upon the Lord. Yes. Not only am I going to call upon the Lord, I know he will answer. Uh, that's what that's the what we have to put in our mind, in our heart. Not only when I call, but he will answer. Amen. Mm -hmm. I will walk in his truth. Amen. That's what I'm going to make my personal mantra for 2023. I will walk in his truth. Amen. I know it may change as we go further down, but this month I'm going to make that declaration for my life. I will walk in his truth. Because the truth be told, we don't have all the answers uh, to life's problems. And sometimes we can allow the weight, the, the pain, and the pressure of life to distract our focus away from the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the truth of God, uh, we we said we know what God is saying, but why are why are we looking to the left and to the right when trouble comes? Because we understand the enemy's job, his plot, his his ploy and his plan is to distract us and take our focus off of God. Amen. Y'all know that, right? I'm, I'm right. preaching to, to the, the choir. choir. He don't want us to meditate on the word. Mm -hmm. He don't want us to rehearse and mutter uh, the word of God when trouble comes. He wants us to, watch this, watch this, even we find this in the church. We, he wants us to start murmuring and complaining mm -hmm. about our problem. Instead of carrying our problem to God. Amen. So, oh, how you doing? Oh, honey child, I'm down. I'm out. I, I'm about to lose my mind. The devil said, oh, as long as he can keep you in that mindset, you won't walk in God's truth. Amen. 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 Because self-pity and depression and all those other spirits are trying to attach themselves to your life and cause you to confess something other than the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so there are times, amen, that when we need to make some adjustments in our lives, we need to make some adjustments and adapt to God's way and God's truth. Amen. It's nothing wrong to say, I had it wrong. I thought I was doing this right, but God showed me a better way. Amen according to his word and his righteousness. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all remember, y'all can reflect. Now, this you have to go back some years for many of us. When we first gave our lives to Christ, amen, and we were... We were praying, and we wanted to be the first at the church, and we wanted to tell our workers, our friends, what happened? Uh oh, that got <laughs> quiet. <laughs> what happened? We like, I want to tell somebody. I want to know more. You didn't want to miss a church service because the word was so rich. The word was so powerful. And you was like, wow, I needed that. And it seemed like every time you went to church, God had a personal message for you. What happened? Did the word change or did we change? 
And well, since we know the word didn't change, mm. we changed. Mm. Oh, uh-huh. Amen. And so when we were when we got saved, we were like, man, what else do I need to learn? I, I need a fellowship. I need to be with my sisters and my brothers. Amen. Because listen, we wanted more of him to the degree I'm willing to fast. I'm willing to you say shut in, count me in. Mm. Turn my plate down because I want to get in a place and where I can hear from God. Mm-hmm. What happened, saints? What happened, sister? What happened, brother? God didn't change. God is saying if we want to walk in his truth, we got to get back to our first love. Mm-hmm. Ah, Amen. come on. Amen. Hallelujah. And can I tell you the truth? I'm praying mm-hmm. that during this time of prayer and consecration before God, that God would ignite that passion passion again in our heart, in our spirit. I want to be on fire again. When they said lift the hand, nobody ought to have to tell me to lift my hands to God. Nobody has to tell me to lift up my voices, cry loud and spare or not. Uh, tell somebody else about Christ because if I'm walking in his truth, God's spirit is compelling me to tell somebody. Mm-hmm. He's leading me to somebody. Amen. And the more I tell somebody else, listen, it's like a, a reviving circle. As I put out, he's putting in. Yeah. Uh, come on, yeah. somebody. That's offering time. As I'm giving <laughs> And out, right. God is putting in. <laughs> and God is saying, man, I can trust you with my anointing. Hallelujah. Because uh, we fear God. We have a reference for a reference for God. Reference. Reverence yeah. for God. Mm-hmm. Amen. And I'm not, listen, our mindset, when we gave Christ our life, our mindset became, I don't want anything to interfere with my relationship, my hunger, my thirst for God. How many want that same uh, reverence back. Amen. I want to go after God. I want to pursue him with all that's within me. Mm-hmm. Amen. It's not, listen, the our mantra, our Dima mantra for 2023, God's moving in me and for me. Amen. And many times we're waiting on God to move and God Amen. says, I'm waiting on yeah. you to move. Woo. I hear a message in that come in. My God. Hallelujah. God is saying, when you move, I'll move. Hallelujah. So when when we get to this place, amen, uh, of wanting to walk in God's truth, amen, I believe God will give us the desires of our heart to walk in in his truth. God's word, you got to catch this, God's word is truth. Mm-hmm. Well, let's look at the word of God. In your Bibles, in St. John 17 and 17, God, Jesus is praying to the Father. I think I shared this with you suddenly. He says, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Amen. In other words, the word of God, the truth is the living word of God. Mm -hmm. If you want to know what truth is, here it is. Pick up the Bible. Bible. Amen. Don't, we can't allow this. I hope you're listening, sisters and brothers. We cannot allow the culture to dictate what truth is. Mm -hmm. We can't allow a society to to dictate how and what to believe. No, 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 no. As a practicing believer, we have God's word, God's will, God's way, and it's his word. Amen. He's not going to write a new Bible for 2023. <laughs> there might be another translation, but it's not going to be a new word. Hallelujah. He may open the eyes of your understanding in a new revelation, but it's not going to change his word. Mm-hmm. It, when he died on, when he, Jesus Christ died on the cross and said, it is finished, it's finished. Mm-hmm. Now we are ambassadors for Christ. We got to walk it out and carry this world, this uh, word to the world. Amen. Instead of the world telling us how to live right, we got to tell the world how to live right. Ooh, come on. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Jesus wants every man and woman to know 
who he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Did y'all catch that? He wants us to know who he is. And that when we are confronted by the enemy, because y'all remember the Sadducees and the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. They thought they were educated and had all the answers, but they didn't have relationship with Jesus Christ. And we have people in the world that will come up on us and try to talk us down, talk us out and away from Christ. But you got to have the word planted, rooted, Amen. and grounded in our lives. Amen. So no matter what they say, come on, <laughs> they, they are going to keep talking. But we got to know what God's word is. And in St. John 14 and 6, you know this familiar passage of scripture. It says, Jesus is saying, I am the way, the truth. Come on. He didn't say it's the psych encyclopedia. He didn't say it's Google. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In order for Jesus to teach us his ways and, and for us to walk in his truth, we got to give our life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Come on, Lord. I come into my heart. Change me. I give you full access to my life. Mm -hmm. God, I want to shut the door to Satan and open the door for the power of the Holy Ghost to rule and rest in my life. I want to be a new creation in Christ Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Let the word make me to know you more. Amen. As I walk in your truth. Amen. It takes out uh, the power of God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We can't live this God kind of life. Are y'all listening? We can't take the, the this kind of life without the power and the Spirit of God working in us mm -hmm. and through us. Amen. Because what the Holy Ghost does. He gives us the power and he enables us to live a righteous life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. And he says, uh, he says, how be it when the spirit, uh, when he, the spirit of truth is come. He Hallelujah. Is come, uh -huh. He's here. He's here. Amen. He will guide you. You got to watch this. It is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, who will guide us into all truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's not going to speak of himself, but he shall speak what he hear and that he shall speak. Not only that, but he's going to show us things to come. Are you connected with the Holy Ghost? Ooh. Come on. Are you ready for an endowment uh, and to be endued with power from on high? It is through the Holy Ghost that show us uh, how to conform to the image of Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, we have to be taught. We have to put away the flesh, the fleshly things, the fleshly thinking. Amen. No, I'm not saying being all high-minded. No, we still have to live here on earth. But what, what I'm saying, we have to be led by the Spirit. Amen. God, show me your way. You And it's through the working of the Holy Ghost that will lead us, guide us. Go over here. Do this today. Do that. Don't do that. Amen. He's telling us what he's hearing God say to us. Amen. And when we conform to it, see, that's why we should not quench the Holy Spirit. We got to be familiar uh, and in relationship to know when he's prompting, he's impressing upon our heart. Amen. That comes through relationship. Mm. Amen. When he's impressing upon the heart. I pray that during this time of prayer and uh, fasting that you will understand that there are going to be times during this 21 day that the Spirit of God wants to impress some things upon your heart. He wants you to know Christ in a better way. He wants you more stable in your relationship, in your walk. Because sometimes we can get so mundane and 
comfortable and, and nonchalant. We don't even know if we say. Oh Lord, we don't know our own. Self. We begin to question ourselves because we have we have just gone, we gone with the flow. There's no uh, the Holy Spirit talking. There's no impressions mm. upon the heart, and we just go to church. We just doing it out of rituals, and mm -hmm. and no, no, God don't want that. He wants relationship. Relationships must be growing. Mm -hmm. It must be a living thing. Amen. I'm growing in my relationship. How many testimonies have you heard in the last 30 days, uh, in the last six months, says, I'm so glad I'm growing in my relationship mm -hmm. with Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I'm getting to know him more. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Our bishop, our late bishop and apostle said, it's all oh, about wow. him. Yeah. I want to do whatever it takes because I want to get closer to him and not man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so that's our our lesson tonight is talking about how to walk in God's truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost will reveal God's righteousness. Amen. Amen. What is God's righteousness, my sisters and brothers? What is God's righteousness? I'm glad you asked. God's righteousness is his standard of living while we're on earth. Mm hmm Hallelujah. God's righteousness. Let me say it for the other folk. God's righteousness is God's standard of living while here on earth. Amen. In other words, our connection with the Holy Spirit enables us to obey and do what God requires of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so I'm moving. I got to move. The only way, watch this. Uh, you and I as believers can walk in his truth, we must be holy. Mm. First, we got to be saved, give our life. Uh, we got to repent of our old ways. Then we got to put on his righteousness as mm -hmm. we begin to learn and God begins to reveal. Take this off. Put this on. Put that new man. Put on the helmet of salvation. Put the armor on. Amen. Now we got to be holy. Mm -hmm. Pastor John, that's mm -hmm. old teaching. That's people ain't telling te teaching about be holy. Just live a good life. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Just don't don't uh, get your uh, your neighbors upset at you. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. We got to get deeper than that. Amen. In other words, we got to get holy, set apart, set separated from sin. Have you gotten to the point in your Christian journey where you hate sin? Oh my. Listen, I'm not saying do you to tolerate sin? Do you hate sin? Because Jesus hates sin. He loves the person, but he hates the sin. Have we gotten to the point where we hate sin and still love people? We can get uh, so deep that we start hating God's creation and that's mm -hmm. out of the will of God. Because as long as anybody got breath in their body and God haven't turned them over to a reprobate, every man has a chance to yeah. repent. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we have to see men and women as souls that are in need mm -hmm. of a Savior. Yeah. Amen. They may not look like us, talk like us, dress like us, or whatever they're doing, but we ought to see uh, there's a person that Jesus can uh, be saved yes. and set free Ooh. from the clutches and hands of the enemy. Am I uh, saying something tonight? You are, sir. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and First Peter, the first chapter, verses 15 and 16, I want you to hear this, what the Word is saying. 1 Peter 1, verses 15 and 16. But as he which hath called you is holy. Somebody type in holy. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written. Uh, it's in the word. It's not going to change. Be ye holy for I am holy. Amen. Let me say it one more time. That sounds so good. <laughs> so good. First Peter 1, verses 15 and 16. But as he which hath called you is holy, 
So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. That word conversation carries this connotation. Your conduct. The way you carry yourself. Be holy. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Can I tell you the truth? Living a holy life, you got to catch this, is not a denomination. Oh, come on. You have to... Uh, are you saved? I'm Baptist. Are you saved? I'm Catholic. I didn't ask you what denomination you belong to because if I read this right, it had nothing to do with a denomination. It's a way of living. Holiness is a lifestyle. Amen. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with what church you attend or what you think is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Come on, Let me just break it down even further. Holiness, woo, this is good to me. <laughs> it is a standard, write, write this down, by which God have called you and I to live. It's a standard of living. Amen. God's standard of living is holy. Hallelujah. It is a way of life in which, watch this, the believer measures everything in his or her life by God's standard. Mm -hmm. It's not what's popular. It's not what's in demand. It's by God's holiness. Mm -hmm. God's standard of living. And the, let, me, let me say it like this. Sometimes we get so high-minded within ourselves, we want God to... Uh, come down to our standard, our living, so that we can continue to have an appetite for the things of the world, and we just add God onto it. Oh, That's not living a holy life. It calls for discipline right. to be holy. Discipline. It calls for self-sacrifice, mm -hmm. presenting your body a living, living sacrifice. sacrifice, holy and acceptable. And acceptable. Uh, come on, yeah, you I'm got to that. wean yourself through the power of the Holy Ghost working in our life. Mm -hmm. wean ourselves from the things that had us bound. Amen. It is the power working in us and through us. God, I need help with this uh, addiction, uh, this taste in my mouth, this thing in my body, in my mind. I can't shake it by myself. I need the power of the Holy Ghost working mm -hmm. in my life. Yes. Are y'all listening? We listen. Amen. I'm so glad because uh, the word of God, King David had a way of writing and expressing his feelings. He would acknowledge who God is. God, you're this, you're that, you're my way. And I mean, he was just, he knew how to get God's attention. Mm -hmm. As soon as he get God's attention, he says, Lord, I'm in a bad situation. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> enemies are after me. He, he done got God's attention through worship. Amen. And God said, all right, you got me. What do you need, son? Don't you, aren't you glad we serve a God who wants to bless us? Amen. Uh, when we, uh, when we fail, when we make mistakes, make bad choices, he don't, he's not ready to throw us away. He wants us to come to him in repentance, acknowledge who he is. God, you're the one who forgives all of my sins, all of my shortcomings, mm -hmm. all of my failures, all of my flows, oh God. God, I want to lay them on the altar Amen. so I can learn how to live a holy life and to walk in your truth. Your truth. Is there anybody tonight want to walk in his truth? Yeah. Amen. We cannot fit into the world's image and expect to be holy. Mm. If you're having trouble fitting in on your job, it might be because you're holy. Ooh, all right. <laughs> uh, you having Maybe. trouble fitting in your family. They can't understand. Every time you think they, and you you live in a holy and righteous life, could it be that you ain't supposed to fit in? Hey, glory. <laughs> You got, sometimes you got to be able to walk this journey all yeah. by yourself. We sing a song, if mama don't go, yeah. if yeah. papa don't go, <laughs> if my children don't go. See, we don't say that. No, but, but, <laughs> all right. Hey, wait a minute now. <laughs> we looking for the crowd. Amen. You might have, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we, we keep on moving. Amen. Because why is this important? I just wanted to share. The world's way is in total opposition of God's way of living. Mm -hmm. 
That's all I'm saying. Amen. I'm not trying to create a new doctrine. A new. I'm just saying the world's way is in total opposition of the way God's uh, want us to live his holy standard of living and we have to get to the point in our spiritual maturity to say you know away with the world mm -hmm. i've done that been there done that got the scars to show mm -hmm. it. can somebody testify amen because the devil if he had his choice he wanted to kill you while you were out there indeed Amen. He wanted to keep us separated from God. But now that you said, Lord, come into my life, show me your way. Mm -hmm. Teach me to walk in your truth. Amen. And God, through the working of the Holy Spirit, will come in. We just got to give him full access to our life. Yeah. Not hold any area back. Am I right about it? Right. Amen. And when he comes in, he's going to show us how to live a holy and righteous life. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I don't have to do this by myself. Yeah. Can I get one witness? Amen. Amen. That we Amen. don't have to walk this. Uh, walk by ourselves and we rely on the leading and prompting of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. I'm having a little difficulty, but I got it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so 2023 and I'm done. Amen. It's, 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 it's good to start off running. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on my way to heaven. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, so glad. glad. <laughs> but don't do it by yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask for God to endow you with his power. Amen. And run this race with the power of the Holy Ghost leading. Listen, the scripture said he will lead you and guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so as we're running this race, amen, keep running. Don't stop. But make sure we got the power in us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Operating in our life. Mm -hmm. and, amen. And he will give us the strength. To and the power to live a holy and righteous life. Amen. I'm so glad for our lesson tonight. Amen. Have you responded to the truth? Amen. By giving your life to Christ, have you responded to the truth? Said God, not my way, but God, I want to know your way. I want to know how you work and how you move. Amen. Especially in my life. Hallelujah. Because listen, when when uh, the Bible was saying, I wrote this down and I'm closing. In Third John, you got to catch this. I, I try to not say it, but I got to say it. I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote it. Got to say Third it. John, verses 3 and 4, and I close with this. It was says, For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. Uh, verse 4 says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Man, what mm -hmm. a testimony. Yeah. Amen. That somebody can testify, oh, I know that sister is walking in God's truth. Mm -hmm. I can see it. I can sense it. Uh, she don't laugh at our dirty jokes. They don't. He don't go where, uh, when we try to persuade him, come on, meet us at the club. He don't want, he is walking in. Uh, there's no greater joy mm -hmm. than to hear that my children walk in truth. Amen. Amen. Tonight, our declaration, I will walk in his truth. Amen. I pray that this word will take root in our spirit, man, in our heart as we continue to pursue him because it's all about him. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we give you glory, honor, and praise for your word. Oh, God, I will walk in your truth tonight. Oh, God, God, reveal more. God, as we submit more uh, in all, every area of our life, withholding nothing, God, God, turn the spotlight on our lives. Show us where we need to come up. Show us on the things we need to lay down on the altar so that we can live a holy and righteous life before you. Oh God, I thank you for that man and woman at the crossroads saying, what must I do to be saved? 
Father, we receive them, oh God, into the kingdom. Oh God, we love on them. We pray for them. We embrace them, oh God. In Jesus' name, God, as, as new disciples, as new ones, willing and ready to learn of you, oh God. Help us to do our part as disciples, oh God, as we yield to the wooing and working of the Holy Spirit. Yes. God, bless us to have a, a blessed week, the rest of this week, oh God. God. Order our steps in your word. Yeah. Help us and lead us to that man and woman that needs a word of comfort, a word of exhortation, a word of encouragement, oh God. Put the words in our mouth, God. Oh God, and we give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I will walk in his truth. Amen. There's no greater joy in hearing that my children walk in thy truth. Amen. Continue to prepare yourselves. Uh, the fast uh, starts this Sunday on the 8th. Amen. I'm looking forward. Amen. How many know during a time of fasting and praying, it's a time of refreshing? Mm -hmm. A time of re getting revived, refilled. Yes. Amen. And I'm looking for it. I, I'm anxious to hear testimonies of what God is going to do and is doing in our lives during this time of prayer and consecration. Get your book on killing kryptonite. Amen. My finance testimony, and I'm closing. Amen. <laughs> I had purpose in my heart today to sow a seed. Uh, into, uh, you know, another uh, believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the same person I had purpose to sow a seed sent the seed to me first. Oh, Come on, right. somebody. Do it? I'm like, won't he do it? That's what I said. <laughs> Amen. And so I love, love little things like that where God's saying, okay, I see you. I see your heart. And I'm going to send you a blessing just because your heart was there. Ooh, come Amen. On. I, I pray that somebody have an encounter like that this week. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Be blessed. Now let's do our benediction. Now may, may the, the grace, grace of God and, and the, the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Rest, rest, rule, and abide with you all, both now and forever. Amen and amen. amen. Have a blessed rest of the week. We love you.